Hey everybody, I'm live, I'm live. You guys, I'm going to call Vincent because our song's out today. Let me add him. Okay, Vincent has been invited to the live. Let's see if he gets the invite. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Hi. Where are you, Vince? Vincent? How's everybody doing? What's new? What's new out there in the world? I'm excited. I have so much coming. Let's see what this button does. Do, 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 do. You never need another love, I know. Oh, it just said Vincent is unable to join. Okay. Hmm. I can talk about it solo, but I think he wants to talk about it with me. <laughs> let's see if he, let's see if this happens. Maybe I'll try it again. Oh, accept. Maybe I have to accept it. Not me, me not knowing how to do this is classic. There we go. Oh, I know we could do it. I know it could be done. I know it could be done. I'm so Like me this. not knowing how to do any of this, like trying to, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Invite. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's like Adam says, Adam has sent invite. I pushed it, never popped up. Welcome to my life. Hello. Hi. Is my signal like crazy? No, it's, I think you're, you're fine. Okay, perfect. I love that you're in all black and I'm in all white. It's sick. Oh, it's yin and yang. Yin and yang. <laughs> and then you're white and I'm black. It's really yin and yang. We're really doing it. Hi, girl. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, you know, our song's well, out. People are writing well. about it. I'm swell. Just a oh. swell girl. We're just out there making the music, you know? Making the music for everybody's summer. Making the music, just pushing up our boobs and, and doing things for the kids. <laughs> Being girl, girls of summer, you know? But I think we're going to talk about heard, I want to know if everybody out there has heard the song. Because it's out. Out. The song it's like is on the out, iTunes charts as well. Another it's... Lover is out. It is on streaming. It's on Spotify. It's on Apple Music. It's on all of them. It's on Groove Shark, babe. It's on LimeWire. Check it out. You Check know? it out. We're out and about. It's featuring moi. <laughs> Apparently, it's climbing up the iTunes charts as well. My team is Ooh, amazing. seeing this thread in such a way. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, it's great. Yay. Yay. We love that. <laughs> Dylan Powell. Out just like me, Yay. Jesus. Hey, another lover, another lover. Yeah, like we be just singing on that thing. Like we're just hollering at the end. I love it. Oh, I, I love it. You finished it. I was like, just you go, I go, you go, I go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I listened back and I went, we're gonna have to do all this on stage live. Yes, yeah. us scrouting for hours and hours in the studio. <laughs> I remember so, I came in and brand. I was like, okay, like that, and you're like. More. You're, I said, I, I would like more. for you to yell a little yeah. bit higher, please. <laughs> Do your thing, girl. <laughs> please give me a full pat in the belt. That's what I'd like from you. Thank you so much. <laughs> what did someone just oh my ask? God. How did it come to be? Well, um, funny story. I wrote this song about, I want to say in October of last year. I just got back from London and I had not written in a, in a long time. And I wrote this song about uh, an experience I had at Coachella with a young man, a young, a young Mormon man. And I was trying to find my religion again and um, wrote the song, <laughs> <laughs> wrote the song with um, this amazing co-writer, Annie Schindel, and these two uh, Finnish producers, uh, Ritzy and Skywalk, and they're incredible. And I've written, I wrote Lean with them as well. And the song just like kind of flowed out. It came out in like 40 minutes, me and Annie just like, really went pedal to the metal and I've, I, I sit on 
songs for a long time, I know that you do the same thing where you're like, I'm gonna sit on this until it feels right to put it out or it feels right for someone to be there. And I was yeah. walking into the gym and I was listening to it and I was like, it needs someone else on this. And I really think I'm like, I need another singer on a song because I'm like, it's I'm already doing the most. So like no one else needs to hear. <laughs> But I was also like, the song is so good and it, it requires two voices. And it reminds me of like CC and uh, CC and the Music Factory because I love, I love that sound mm. and that big, I just miss people who can sing, you know? And so yeah. I texted Adam and I was like, hi, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I have a song. Um, if you don't like it, don't respond. It's okay. I love you. Bye. No, and I was yeah. immediately like, oh, like I immediately was like, well, Shit, I hope it's good because I, 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 I no, because I was like, I love, I, I, you know, I'm a big fan of you. I'm like, and and we're friends, yeah. and I'm just like, yeah. something like this has like been sort of in the it's like the most in awkward the, thing, yeah, like, yeah, but it's been in the ether. Like the idea of singing together is definitely, yeah. like, Oh yeah, that makes sense. We should, you know. And so when you finally yeah. were like, here's the song, and I was like, yes, yes, this song is great. I love it. <laughs> I love it. My, you, my favorite little bit is the part w that reminds me of Waiting for Tonight. Yeah. That's like my, that is my, like, it's, it reminds me of that. Da, na, na, da, na, 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 na. And the minute I heard that, I was like, oh, I love that because it feels like familiar. You know, it feels like nostalgic yeah. in some way, which I love. Yeah. Could you, could you imagine if you hate it? I'm just like, don't, don't respond back. You don't, you never text again. <laughs> we never speak again. I'm like, I love no, you so I much. Bye. I to it, like twice. And I went, uh-huh. Yep. I'm in. You were, yeah, your response was so fast. I don't think I had even like gotten into the door and you were like, great, we'll do it. And I was like, yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll get it yeah. done. Um, yeah. It sounds so good. And I think my favorite part about the whole process was definitely the recording of it. It was so much fun. Yeah. We just like, I, I love listening to other people in their like space, in the craft, like in the booth and just listening to it. I think I recorded a bunch of it. And I'll share that at some point, but it's it's such a cool thing watching you like step into who you are. Cause I know you when you're not singing and like you're the funniest bitch I know. So it's like <laughs> watching you step into the booth and be like, one second. And then you turn on like <clears throat> superstar <laughs> girly that that's that you are. And I'm like, oh, this Aww. is crazy. Aww. It was like it was very cool to watch. Well, it, it's funny because like I've seen you perform, but it I haven't sung like in your vicinity either and yeah vicinity um <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa um and it was it was yeah i just because i recorded first and then and then you were like i'm gonna go in and do a couple things i'm like yeah yeah do it and then i was just like this <laughs> <Shut> <up. laughs> wow <laughs> i was like because like it's it's i think it's so nice when you have someone in a room who is like as good as you are it makes you want to step your game up. And I like, I love that. For I sure. need that because it, yeah. it made it, it made the song sound so much better than it was originally from the demo because I think the demo was nice, but it's like you stepped in and you were like, hi, this is where I need you to meet me. And it was right. like, I'm going to meet you down here, but I'm going to get close, babe. Right. I'm going to do my best. I'm going <laughs> right. to stick right here. Gotcha. We're right here. Gotcha. It, and we got to, we got to perform it live um, as like a preview a few months back at uh, Australia's Sydney's mardi gras which is their their gay pride and was, we had so much fun it was like it was a blast. there's video out there you guys you can you can find it and and i think vincent's been posting little snippets for like yeah. some of his content but we had such a ball that night it was so great that was the wildest show that they were that room was shaking for you it was, it was crazy oh it my, was a lot of people my yeah. favorite part is you standing behind the curtain and just your silhouette <laughs> and the curtain drops and i said <laughs> All right, you fucking bitch, let's do this. I was ready. I was on the side of the stage screaming and Brett, my manager was like, Aww. you have to calm down. You have to calm down because you're going to go sing later. And I was like, shut up! Well, and the, I had and a the show! Was like, I, knew, like, I knew we had like, we would served it and delivered on this track, but like performing with you was so fun because we both like really go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was great. It was great. I, I had so much fun. We were like, my it was my favorite part is there's a girl on the front of the video and you can see her for a second and we're like singing at the same time in the bridge and she just goes <laughs> and she just starts shaking and i was like that is hilarious overload, overload. <laughs> it was too much and i was like great that's what we want for you babe we love that for you and we're both gonna to be uh performing at at WeHo Pride uh we Pride. in the 31st first and second right isn't that the, yeah. the those are the dates right 
You're Friday yeah. and I think I'm we have Sunday. Different, yeah. We're on different days, but I think we'll figure out a way to make sure this song has its moment on both days. We'll maneuver our way. We'll make it happen, bad. Yeah, exactly. Yay. I'm excited for your set. I'm excited for your set. Yeah, it's gonna be cute. Gonna be Do cute you know what you're course. wearing? Not a clue, I've never known. I've never no, been I, prepared. I don't know yet. I have like, <laughs> I, I think I have some options, but I haven't like whittled it down to like have, the one. I have some things in mind, but it's also last year was a little over, over uh, draft. Is it overdraft? Overcast. And I think this is gonna be really, really hot. I hope so. I mean, this week it's been, the weather's been a bit cloudy. Yeah. Did, have we seen like a forecast? I hope it, I hope it warms up. That would be Apparently great. it's supposed to be like a really pretty first uh, weekend. And I'm like, great. Oh, that's all that I would want. be great. I'm, I'm excited for that. Yeah. Well, it'll be, be nighttime. So, so you know, in, in LA, it doesn't get too hot at night. Unless True. it's like, I mean, there's those days like at one point, we're but I don't think we're there yet. No, no, it's going to be a cute summer set. I just hope everybody comes out and sees us. Come on out. I mean, got to come to the, the girls the are going to Oh, it's going to be a really good out. weekend. I think the, the lineup on, on all those days is like fantastic. I'm, I'm kind of gagged at each day being so iconic. Every day is stacked with people who I'm like, oh, I have to now, I have to plan out how long I'm going to party at each of these things so I can make it to the next day. Yeah. The lineup is exactly. so good. Yeah, I, gonna be... I, exactly. I'm like, how, how the hell am I going to get through that week? <laughs> no. A prayer and a bottle of water, babe. Well, I'm going to do it. That mine's the first night, so then I can just like yeah. I can go and enjoy myself after in the next two days, you know. Mine's the last night. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Great. You're gonna be like it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Hanging upside down in like a coffin, just like, like and just floating back and forth like a vampire. <laughs> that tracks. Um, are we gonna do some Q and A? We should. Yeah, let's see what people are saying here. Someone just asked me if I was top or bottom. I don't think that's on the, the list of things that we're talking about today, but. Um. My goodness, <laughs> girls. Honestly, answer the question. I identify as more of a top. Proud of you. Otherwise known as a blouse. I love, love a blouse, Cause I, a silk chemin. I like to look pretty, you know, I, I like that. So I'm, Listen, I, you know, I'm a, a, pretty a dash of feminine too. in my top. Where are you performing? We're performing at WeHo Pride Out Loud in LA, West Hollywood. It's the first, the second, and the third. Adam is on the first, which I believe is a Friday. The 31st, yeah. The 31st, which is the Friday. Yeah, and then the Saturday is the first, and you're the second, right? And then the second, the which Sunday. is on Sunday. Yeah. I'm scrolling through the questions. Oh, it's going so, so fast love the song is there going to be more i think we both have music like ready to come oh, out yeah. i mean we're both putting stuff out separately i mean this is the this is the only one we're doing together yeah we both have stuff tell coming. them about your project because the songs are crazy i got some stuff coming i think that's all <laughs> I've, I've actually said at this point but there will be new music out in time for that performance so stay yeah. tuned wow you guys are gonna gag it's yeah yeah we played yeah crazy. and and you have some other feature stuff in the yeah. in the that you've recorded in the you? pipeline. Yeah, I have a, a bunch of in the pipeline. a bunch of surprises coming. Uh, some all friends. I think I have been really adamant about this project, this dance project, having a bunch of friends on it who I love and artists who I've just admired for a long time. Yeah, you know, so I'm that's the best. Excited. I've been trying like this. I've been really excited at the sessions that I've been in. Like a lot of the people I've been working with are our friends as well yeah we actually i have something coming out that you helped write so i haven't like exp i haven't i haven't um keep it under wraps keep yeah under wraps. i haven't it's not it's not it, it's it, it's i haven't talked about it yet but it will be coming soon but but you you helped me write it so there you it's go it's a, it's a good one too <laughs> it's a good, really good one uh chicago area oh i don't have any plans to go to chicago but i love chicago what about a concert in the UK. I don't know if I can say this yet. Um, I'm going to say it anyway. And if my team's on here, sorry. Um, I'm playing <laughs> London Pride. <laughs> I'm playing London Pride, so I'll be there. Oh, work. Yeah. I didn't know that. Amazing. Yeah. That'll be fun. I did that last year. It was so much fun. I've never done it. I'm really excited. And I love London, so it's always been a dream of mine to be, like, a part of that. It was a good crowd. I had a, I had a really fun time. Yeah. It was, it's, yeah. they have a stage set up like right in Trafalgar Square and it was just, it was a beautiful day and it was really fun. That's so iconic. Yeah, you'll like, okay, great. I'm you'll excited. love it. You'll love it. You'll love it, babes. Oh, babes. 
Love it. Vibes, you'll love this. You'll love doing this, Vibes. Hello, okay, Belgium. Uh... Hello, Canada. Hello, Australia. I love when people just say their country. Australia. Canada. Hungary. Come to, have, you seen, have you seen that? Come to Brazil. <laughs> oh, and vibes every time. <laughs> oh, he's so good. Um, love Sydney, but will there be any official music videos? Mm, there is a video coming out of the live performance, so actually, yes, there is a music video. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got some really good footage that night, so that's, yeah. that's is the content. It is actually such a well shot. Uh, it's so good. France. Paraguay. Shut up, Ollie. That's my, <laughs> my manager, France. Paraguay. Get off of the, the live, babe. <laughs> Brazil. Are you coming? Are you coming? <laughs> Everybody, where are you from? What's to up? Fire Island this summer. Oh, are you going to Fire Island this summer? I don't know. Oh, I was thinking about it, but I have like so much moving around to do that I might at some point just be like, I want to sit still because yeah, like June is busting out all over, honey. It is like June is crazy. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna be hitting the uh, frequent flyer miles. Um, lots of stuff to do. I'm, like, I'm going to China on Monday. Cat, like, is you not knowing that it's nuts? Sit yeah. down. Yeah. And then I get back with just enough time to get ready for the, the Pride performance and rehearse for it. Jesus. I, I got choreo to learn, you know? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do some movement these days. A little bit. I mean, you know, a little bit. You did full three. choreo in Australia, too. Yeah. You had, like, yeah. eight dancers doing yeah. choreo. And I, I was like, I love that for her. <laughs> I'm going to step in my little spot, and I'm going to sing, babe. I'm so excited. It's, but yeah, it's same. Funny I haven't done a, like that much movement over the years, but it's it is my back. Like I come from theater, so it's like I used to do everything choreographed and stage. So it's like it's something I kind of want to get back a little bit into. Yeah, I hear you. Body rolls, baby. But you can move too, honey. You move. She is a mover, not a dancer, and I will say that until I am dead. She is well, a mover. Well, I Not mean, I feel like I feel like that's how I identify. Like, I feel like more comfortable just freestyling than like learning, yeah. you know, counts. But like, you know, when you got dancers on stage, it is, it does look cute when you click in, right? It's so a cute I'm trying, time, yeah. I'm trying. But then it's like there's, you know, I don't know how much room I have left in here, so we'll see. <laughs> I don't know what I have left. We have any more questions? No, I, I'm not coming to Chicago. I'm so sorry. Move, Adam. Move. What do you? What guys wearing now? Can you Vogue for us? Babe, if I Vogue, the way that this hip would give out. The hip? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Uh, when did we first meet? I think I met Adam. Yeah, when did we meet? I feel like it was like five years ago. It was through Parson right. James, who is um, one of my best friends and one of Adam's uh, really, really great friends. Yeah, and that is how we met. Just, You're right. Yeah, and I think I went with Parson somewhere and... Because I'm usually pretty quiet when I go places, and people usually think that I hate them, which is not great. But I love that you came up and you have very Aries energy. Because I don't, you're not an Aries. I'm an Aries mood. Yeah. So, like in a party setting, when I've had like a couple cocktails, I'm definitely pretty like outgoing. <laughs> you were out. I think we were at your house, and yeah, I um, I was just like sitting at at the bar and like just like hanging and chilling, and you came over. You were so nice. Aww. And I was like, oh, you're so good. <laughs> you're having fun. I was like, I can't see anything, but here we are. <laughs> And you were so well, nice. I, I had definitely seen you. I knew who you were because I had seen your performance on the four of yeah. Creek, which is like yeah. mind boggling. If you guys haven't seen that, go on YouTube and look up Vincent singing Creep. It, it was the performance of Creep that made everybody else perform Creep, honestly. Like everybody else did it after you. And it was now, so it's, now it's overdone because now you it's set everywhere. the bar really high. But it's fucking unreal. Thanks. It's so good. Um, so yeah, I knew I like knew of you. And then I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> Just me in your home. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for yeah, having they, I me. Yeah, I mean, you know me. Like, I love an after party. That is my, that is like our, uh, this this house is is great for hosting people. Yeah. That's why I. I it's I, always I, such a nice vibe too, because everyone's always like chill and nice and it never feels weird. It's always so like community oh, feeling. And I'm like, great. Oh, I want that. Oh, I like God. that. I Until sick. you got that like one person that crashes the party who wasn't invited, which happens sometimes. And then, I, and then you have to go. I call the put and then I'm like, yeah. we were you weren't invited. Sorry. <laughs> And then Pharaoh's like, Pharaoh's like, get it out of here. Get out of here now. <laughs> yeah, the dog, he, he's definitely security for sure. <laughs> we did, you know what else it was really cool about this release of, of Another Lover is your, your cover art that you did, which I love. Yeah. Um, um, tell us about that. Um, 
So the cover art for all this entire rollout for the future singles and the past ones before this have all been inspired by icons that I love. So the first was Grace Jones, the second was Sylvester, and this one was Madonna. The Celebration album in particular, because I thought it looks, yeah. it just looks so iconic. And I, I love yeah. that during this age of music that they were in, they had the forethought to be like, I'm going to make this incredible piece of music, but also the visual that I give you will only further down the line inspire others to do that. And I've wanted to pay tribute to the icons that I've loved so much for so long that it made sense. And so when I hit up Chris Correa, who does, who's been doing all of the covers, I was like, this feels really smart and strong. And because Adam reminds me of like these icons who sit in this place, I would love to have this be something that I could hold on to when I look back into it. And I'm like, oh, look at the cover of my single with Adam Lambert. And it, it immediately makes me think of Madonna and that celebration album and that tour and I was like oh it feels it just felt right and so I mean when you sent it over I was gagged and then I sent it to you and you were like well damn I was like, like I mean you know I'm a like an old like like Madonna fan from way way back like I, she's like my my first queen you know growing up it was like it was like her and Janet Jackson and then also Paula Abdul that yeah. was my first concert but like that was my childhood like those three ladies it was I I didn't know that so that's yeah even more like Sarah. I'm, a, I'm I, a Madonna, like, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I, I love that I posted the cover on Twitter and the fans were like, this is not your cover. This is Madonna celebration. And then I gave the explanation it and they were like, on purpose. <laughs> I, gave the, I love I gave the explanation. you accidentally copied somebody. You're like, For, and I was no, like, no, no, homage, it's a tribute. Girl. It's an homage, babe. Yeah. And immediately as I did the, the, explanation for it the fans were like we love you Aww. and we love that you love madonna <laughs> it's like thanks babe yeah as long as the madonna fans know that you're like madonna we madonna. I'm like clearly we we who doesn't know a madonna cover yeah. and wouldn't try to give homage to it right. so it was it's been so well received now especially because they know the basis of the story and the foundation of it all and so it's just been really cool yeah your first one was the grace jones grace like jones. Homage, which yeah. is Stunning, and then and then Sylvester, yeah, that was the second one I love. Like, what a what a beautiful person, and just and like with Sylvester, like in that cover that Sylvester did, was he sort of like giving you like Patty Labelle? Like, yeah, was he sort of. It was a Patty Labelle. He was um, doing somebody else too. Which what is was so crazy. that song? Uh, new attitude. It was a new attitude homage yes. that he was doing yeah. on his cover, and I was like, oh, two and one, we love. References upon references, references yeah, upon reference, references. Re we love it. Reference. reference. Yeah, it's like, first and you know what? Girls. You know what? We, I always say is like, as long as you know your history and you like are able to sort of teach everybody about the thing that you love that you're referencing, I think it's a beautiful thing. Exactly. I feel yeah. like I think a lot of artists these days, opinion, don't know the basis of where their sound comes from, and it's like, well, I made this, and I'm like, no, babe, someone really like they built this and you're yeah. ex extending it and you're making it your own. But I love knowing that something comes from a certain place and I can tap into it and then add my own flavor to it. Yeah. It only makes me, sure. it just makes it more special to me, I think. Well, and it's, we're in like, I mean, everything's been done. Yeah. Literally everything has been done. So you're in an age now where it's like, you put your personality and experience and style like, like on top of something or you project something through another lens and it's it makes it really interesting it's like yeah it, it's i mean it, it the bottom line is that it's inspiration for us as artists you know like you have to find something that inspires you right like we don't just pull ideas out of like nothing fit in you know here yeah I mean? yeah we look at what we look at what we've loved and what we grew up on and we go oh i remember this from my yeah. childhood it'd be so yeah. cool if i could put my own spin on it yeah yeah exactly exactly it's in your brain i i I definitely like the stuff I've been working on lately. Like I've been just listening to like a lot of house music and like saving it in a playlist. And then just like, I'll go into a session and be like, let's listen to some music for a second. Like, I love all this. Like, this is kind of the energy that I'm talking about right now, you know? And, 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 and then it like, it gives you a direction. Exactly. You know? I think, I, I don't think people know that about songwriting sessions. It's like, no, we sit in these sessions and we gab and we talk about the things that we love and the songs that we listen to. Yeah. And then we build on that. But most things, m mostly everything you've ever heard is because it's referenced from someone else because mm -hmm. that's how music works. There's only so many yeah. notes. And yeah. so making it your own and making it unique is the best part about being an artist. Yeah. I mean, listen, that, that Ariana Grande song that came out, like her first single from that last album was like, uh, say, uh, uh, 
Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, and that's right. Say yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's so much Madonna DNA in that yeah. song. Uh, I mean, it literally like the instrumentation, the groove of it. It's very Vogue. It's very 90s Madonna. And it's brilliant. It's yeah. great. And it's so unique and it sounds new. And it's like, that's the whole point of this stuff. Yeah. Like you're supposed to be able to like every generation step it up or make it unique in, in a way that a new generation is like, well, that, that, that's ours. And that's where it comes exactly. from, you like, know? Yeah. Inspiration. Inspiration. <laughs> um, are I there more? What's questions? with the deep voice? <laughs> I hope you're not talking about me. I, I mean, my, my speaking voice is pretty, <clears throat> if I'm excited, it's pretty high. But like, if I'm talking regularly, it's pretty down here. I mean, I just woke up like an hour ago, so yeah, that's like probably why mine's low, you know. God, that's a fucking and also, break, like, babe. let me tell you something, fans out there. Like, I'm 42. Like, the voice does start to sh <laughs> Like, what do you want? I used to <laughs> scream at the top of my lungs for ages. It's like, it's not the exact I mean, your body ages, yeah, but, including your throat. But you still sound <laughs> the same. Like, your singing voice is still the same. I, I don't know. It. I do have lower notes than I used to have, which is fun. Yeah. Like, it's... I used to be able to like struggle. I had to like struggle to get low. And now I'm kind of like, ooh, mm. it sits a little lower. It's kind of fun. Yeah. I've been playing with that in the studio. It's so fun. It's, I think my range has definitely gotten a bit more broad. Yeah. For sure. Because yeah. I did not, I was not able to sing low when I was younger. No, neither, Young, neither yeah. did I. Like I could not get down there. I'd be like, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was very breathy and very, very nasty. Yeah. But now. Especially, at, especially if you're like, hollering really up high because mm -hmm. your, like, your larynx goes up so it's like harder to get low. Your larynx is in your forehead <laughs> and no one knows that. My third eye. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm pinging these notes at you, babe. Please. My third eye larynx. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have more questions? I think they're probably coming in. They're coming in so fast. Oh my gosh. I can't take it. How you keep your youth. Lots. My my favorite um, uh, question of the day. How lots you keep of Korean your youth. skin products. How you keep your youth? I'm lots a witch. of Korean skin products. I'm babe. a witch. I'm a witch. I've actually I'm stealing the souls of the people that come to my shows <laughs> and go. <laughs> I'm eating my fans, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my god. There it is. There she is. There she is. Oh, oh love you. Thank you. Thank you. That's so nice. Are you coming to China? Yes, yes, she is. Coming to China. In China. What are you doing there? Uh, there's a show called Singer. It's like a, it's this okay. competition show where they bring in like, they'll bring in like a guest artist from like the West and they have um, contestants that are there. It's a, it's a great show. I've seen clips of it when Jessie J did it. Um, she ate. Yeah, she, she did some great performances on that show. Oh, you're about to. Yeah, I mean, and, and Apparently, like the production levels are really high. It's like they have a beautiful band and yeah. a beautiful stage. It's like a and full orchestra. Excited. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm about excited. To It'll be fun. Sing down. Sing down. Give the girls what they need, what they desire. Um, our song is in Paper Magazine. It's on Billboard right now. It's doing very, very well. Very proud yes, of us. My goodness, yes, man, you'll never need another love. Oh. I love that at 12.45, you're in the right key, first of all, and singing it full. That, good for you. Was, that was a soft mix. This is in my head, this voice. Is this is where I sit normally. Yeah. A falsetto child is the ugliest term I've ever heard. Falsetto <laughs> child? <laughs> it's from, um, it's from uh, that movie Overboard with um, uh, <laughs> Goldie Hawn. You know, she like, when she like, have you ever seen that movie? It's so funny. I have seen Overboard. It's her and Kurt. She's like, uh, when she's like, when she's like, when the kids are like running around, she goes, a falsetto child? <laughs> <laughs> Did I have a falsetto child? Yeah. A falsetto <laughs> child. A falsetto child? A falsetto oh, child? The, na the name of the E. That falsetto <laughs> child. Fals falsetto child. Falsetto child. Which song child? will you sing a child? You, you'll have to find out, guys. You, tune in. You'll know. It'll be on, on your TV. Where, when, um, when does your... So is this, is this single from an album, Vincent? That you, this, yeah. is a, this is an album that you have coming out, right? So, ha 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 ha. Um, it's a two-part project. So I went to London last year and wrote a bunch of songs and was so inspired because House is so big there and 
EDM is like huge and I love the way it sounds. And so I just wrote a bunch of songs and then got back here and have really, really wanted to dig into my like Robin, Bjork, somewhat Muna bag where I can write my like emotional songs and still have the synth pop that I want to have behind them. So the first part is all of these house songs and all of these dance songs for yeah. the summer because I think I want to dance all summer. And then as it gets into uh, fall and winter, I want to release some a bit more heartfelt tracks to tell more stories. Right. So yeah, this is yeah, the, first, summer, this yeah, the I, first half. I like a seasonal delivery. I'm a seasonal bitch, you yeah. know? I like <laughs> some for winter, some for summer. I, I don't like to do, like yeah. imagine me releasing this in December, like girl, go in the house. Yeah, exactly. Like, the, yeah, there's like the cuffing season that has to happen. Exactly. Where you're like wrapped up by the fire, you know, and there's that mood. I want you in between your partner's thighs, wrapped up in a cozy, <laughs> crying to my songs in the middle of September, babe. That's what I want. Oh, so, yeah, wait, it's a two part project. Blanket. Want a a weighted, weighted blanket. blanket. The fans <laughs> on. Um, I want things to be cute and cozy. So, this is the first part of that project. Yeah. <laughs> And the I'm name and everything it. will be coming out very, very soon. So is it yeah. like, is, is it like sing, like singles right now? Like you're just doing the single thing? Yeah, because I, I released an album two years ago and I did it all at once. And I think this time I, I really want to give the singles enough time to live and be their own things. Yeah. And, and I don't believe what, I mean, it. just a very similar plan. You know? I think that's sort of, I mean, the whole business has changed so much. So it's yeah. like, I, you I gotta be you doing gotta a disservice. Team. Yeah, maybe during the service, but an entire album with no like lead up. I want these songs to have a lives of their own, and then give you a project with more songs on yeah. it. Yeah, you know exactly. Yeah, I think that's smart. I think you're smart. I love business. You know, I'm a business. I woman. think you're smart. I think you're smart. Come to China. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should never have given us this. They should not allow us to go home. <laughs> Uh, All we're gonna do is play around. Okay, so I think if there there are no questions, I'm trying to see some of these questions. Yeah, you go because I think mine's frozen. Questions that have nothing to do with our song. Come on, guys, stay on topic now. Ask me if I'm a falsetto child, please. I've always wanted to be a falsetto child. Ooh, I love that screen name, Weird Lambert. Oh, he got booted. Vincent, where did you go? Oh. Well, well, I think we've probably covered everything. Let's see if he logs back in, but um, we are so excited to have another lover out. Stream it now, go check it out. It's on all the streaming platforms. Um, it'll be listed under Vincent's name, first and foremost, because it's his song that I'm featured on. So look up Vincent with an I, Vincent, featuring me. Um, it's called Another Lover, check it out. Turn it up really loud. It's cute. It's a cute song. And um, yeah, love you guys. Look, I'm missing a nail. It's trouble. Missing. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>